Your Windows just crashed, and you need a reinstallation. But you've never done it before. Oh, you wish there was someone here to show you how to reinstall Windows. Before I get to the meat and potatoes of this video, if you follow along with this video and your Windows installation CD does not boot, then the video I am linking to right now is what you need to watch. If your CD boots, then continue on with this video. Now, before I start the video, as Windows takes on average over an hour to install, I will be fast forwarding through any part of the installation that does not require user interaction in order to save time and to keep things simple. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open your CD tray, insert your legitimate copy of Windows into the CD tray, and close the CD tray. At this point, you must restart the computer. Upon restarting the computer, you will see the normal boot up text. Following that, you will see a single line of text that reads, press any key to boot from CD. Press a key on the keyboard. It does not matter which one. This will trigger the computer to boot from CD. This screen is asking you, where would you like to install Windows? This is important if you have more than one hard drive. But as I only have one hard drive in this situation, I will highlight the only one listed and press enter to continue the install. This next screen is asking you to choose the format of the partition. This is for compatibility with older software and hardware. In most modern and semi-modern computers, you will use the NTFS file system. So in this situation, and probably yours, the best option is to choose Format the partition using the NTFS file system quick. Welcome to the Windows XP Setup Wizard. The hard part is over, so click next on the bottom to start. At some point during the installation, you will be presented with this screen asking you to please input your Windows product key. Please do so and click next. This screen presents you with the opportunity to set your currency, regional, and desired keyboard layout. But as I am currently in the US, I will use the default option for my install. But you may need to customize. It's time to personalize this computer to you. Type your name here. If using a network, you may want to personalize your network name as well. Type your desired network name here. Optionally, if you would like to password your computer, type one in the box below and click next to continue. Set your date, time, and time zone and click next to continue. Unless you're required to set specific network settings, click Typical Settings and click Next to continue. This next part is the longest part of the installation. If you would like a break, now is the time to take it. This process on average takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. Everything has gone well so far. Press OK at this screen to continue. Once you see this screen, press OK. Congratulations! Give yourself a pat on the back. You have just installed Windows. Your job is not over though. There is still much to be done. Please watch my other videos. Installing drivers and setting up windows for the first time. If you have any ideas that you think would make a great video, please send us a message.